What is going on, guys? It is your friend Enoch. Today, I'm going to be playing Power World. Uh, once it loads in, man, this game is so shit. I've never had to load this long in a Pokemon game. All right, enough shitty Reddit tier sarcasm, and let's get to the topic at hand. Why is Power World absolutely destroying Pokemon? Well, it's because Pokemon is not a game franchise. I know that sounds crazy. Uh, like, what are you talking about? Of course, Pokemon is a game franchise. Nope, it's not. This is a game, all right? Does Pokemon have this? Does Pokemon have a bunch of furries? Okay, wait, wait, Pokemon does have a bunch of furries. Uh, let's just ignore that for now. So, back to what I'm saying. Is Pokemon actually a game franchise? In the most technical sense, yes. But, do your Pokemon labor for you? I don't think so. I don't think so. Seriously though, um, it's just not. It's not a game franchise. Nintendo clearly does not give a shit uh, about the games. Um, if they did, they would probably make you <laughs> make them good. Uh, they don't. Nintendo slash Pokemon Company. I guess Nintendo in general, since they're a huge stakeholder. Um, they just don't care. Uh, they used to be really good, and the reason they're so popular is because they basically own the portable game industry. No one else really competes with them. Like, there's Steam Deck, I guess, but that's not portable gaming per se. Um, it's really just making a small computer you can put in your hands. And sure, maybe that's what a Switch is, but not really. Console devices... Um, they have computer components in them, but they're not really as free-willed as actual computers. Uh, I'm just going to go around and fight some bosses while I try to explain why Nintendo is really failing. And so if they're not a game company, then uh, how do they make money? And the answer is influence. Can't do that in Pokemon. And by influence, uh, basically I mean they were a game company. And they made really fun games because at that time, uh, games just, they didn't exist. Games were games. You know, your choices at the time, right? I'm sure some of you, you know, if you're uh, younger, uh, first of all, uh, log off, dude. Go play in the yard or something. Don't be like, don't be like me. Okay, this game fucking sucks. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, so your choices were basically just sit at home, play Monopoly with all your annoying family members, um, even though half of them are probably at work or too old to even relate to you. So you didn't really have much options. So of course you played Pokemon. Of course you played, I don't know, like ping pong or whatever to help old people play uh, let's see key gold whatever so yeah I mean that's just the basically the type of environment games were in at the time is you would play anything you get your hands on to if you're a kid like, you'd get maybe a game twice a year, once on your birthday, once on Christmas, maybe, you know? Uh, or maybe uh, you're a millennial, so your parents had a lot of generational wealth, so you got games all the time. So, like, great. That's nice. And I'll get more into why that's actually important later, but... So that's basically how they build their original influence is just by existing at the perfect time. It's 
really a right time, right place opportunity. Hold up, uh, capture, capture. God damn, get in there. Yeah, this game fucking sucks. I was wrong. Just kidding, this game rocks. It rocks socks. So anyways, but the thing that Pokemon had basically was it had franchise. You could franchise it. Uh, I, I bet most of their sales are probably just from uh, selling literal slop to people. And that's basically what Pokemon is. Pokemon is just uh, a slop factory for peak consumerism. And sure, Power World is slop in some degree because it's not, you know, this isn't like the best thing I've ever seen in my life, but it's probably one of the funnest things I've played in a long time. So in terms of gaming, yeah, of course it completely mogs Pokemon. It doesn't take a lot to mog Pokemon. Uh, fan games mog Pokemon. Let's be real here. And so, basically, if you have fan games that make better games than you, what are you going to do? Obviously, you're going to destroy them, but... Um, this isn't a fan game, this is just inspired, and really there's nothing wrong with being inspired. I'm overweight. Oh, perfect. I mean, is that a Pokemon? It doesn't matter, because Pokemons are literally just monsters, right? Like, you can't copyright foxes and birds. That stuff just exists. Why is my floor on fire? That was weird. Look at these guys. They're so cute. That's not that's not a Pokemon. That's a pal. Alright? And He's adorable. I get to see him sleep and he helps me out. Like there's an emotional connection there. Like it actually matters. Like you know, until you need to butcher them. Which you know, I'm just kidding. There's really no reason to butcher your pals in this game. So yeah, there's a lot of like funny memes here, like, you know, literal capturing of humans, like if you can capture you know, monsters, why can't you capture humans? And honestly, it's actually pretty useful. Wait, where are you going? Okay, well, he's just running off, but... See that? That's useful. You know, and it's a joke, but frankly, these games are just not the same. So, as an experience, um... Power World is going to be fun for people that really like survival games like Minecraft or Ark. And if you hate those games, you're probably not going to like Power World. I mean, there are some, you know, strategy aspects to it. Um, creature battling. Uh, your pals basically dominate uh, a lot of the conflict because in truth, in the late game, you're just not that strong. I just picked up a shit ton of ore. So I feel like this game really appeals to people that like, uh, you know, they like survival and crafting and they like to optimize problems. I mean, this is my second base. I'll go show you guys my uh, other base. I mean, look at all that ore on the ground. That is a lot. Okay, here's my uh, second base. Let me just go to sleep real quick. Okay, that 
was a total fail. I'm just gonna walk up there. All right, this is my blender. You can blend pals in there. Um, <laughs> but here it is. Like, I've optimized my bases for different tasks. This is like breeding and farming, and I'm still in the process of optimizing it. And that's just, it, it's fun. It appeals to someone like me who likes optimizing problems. Um, and I like having fun. So yeah, if you're like one of those uh, sloppers that love uh, movie games and you, you need your hand held because you can't think in an abstract space, well, maybe this game's not for you. Fiber. Venom gland. It's kind of useless. Yeah, so I've just been having fun. I'm sort of in the late game, basically. Uh, 44. I tried crafting 100 of every one of the pal balls. Um, I'm making a bit of progress. Uh, I'm trying to make 1,000 of every ammo. Um, not making much progress on there. I need way more ore. And so, like, I get it. This game isn't for all, everyone, you know, but we say this game isn't for you because you, you know, you identify a company as basically being your parent. Um, that's, that's a real problem. Like, you can play other games. Like, I still like Pokemon. I still play Pokemon fan games. Uh, I probably won't buy more Pokemon games, to be honest. Uh, they've just been so bad lately, and that's just another reason, you know, why the memes started really power world is not a competitor with pokemon um what is that burly merc what the hell who is this guy okay just a bunch of random people fighting around my base I mean, look at this. Does Pokemon have land ball? No, I have land ball. And honestly, if Power World starts making like, uh, you know, some physical slop, like, uh, what, what you call it, like, stuffies and toys people are probably gonna buy it cuz I mean these things are cute look at that little tansy he's mine now and so really uh, Pokemon doesn't have to be good it just has to be a cultural phenomenon and that's that's what it transcended to and there's the whole idea of being big too big to fail and it's just not true. Um, eventually, Pokemon is going to fail because they're just not trying. There's no such thing as too big to fail. And eventually, um, you just got to look at the market of who who supports Pokemon. And you, you might say, um, oh, Pokemon's a kid's game. Kids support Pokemon. Kids don't have money. Okay. Um, what the hands you get in here? So yeah, kids do not have money. It's adults that support Pokemon, and um, if you really, if you're a company who basically hates its fans, um, your fans are not going to want their kids to play it. You gotta think about the whole uh, idea of audience and Pokemon right now is really just being supported by you know adults who think that they're children still oh crap I'll to capture that and honestly that's not sustainable it's not sustainable eventually Pokemon is going to fail I think 
really, Power World's not a competitor, but it did create a cultural phenomenon which will tell the Pokemon company basically that we're really making serious problems here where our games are just considered so bad that this game, uh, which isn't even Pokemon, you just capture things, honestly, that's it. That this game is somehow a cultural competitor, basically. Like, this game making money obviously is not going to affect Pokemon, but the cultural impact is going to affect Pokemon, actually. Mm, Gumas. Uh, I guess I already have 10 Gumas. And so if you're a company being supported by basically man-children, um, what are you going to do when, you know, these people, they don't take care of themselves. Um, their kids, they just play TikTok, so they don't, you know, or they play on their iPads and watch TikTok, so they don't, they don't care about what the hell Pokemon is, you know. They didn't grow up playing Pokemon like uh, we did, right? They don't even have the appreciation for the culture of it. And that guy's just in the floor. Although maybe this can get him. Yep. Oh, I just took some damage. And like out. I'm, I already admitted it. Power World is basically slop. Like, this is not well made. It's buggy. It's not well optimized. I mean, it's made from Unreal Engine. You basically need a um, goddamn quantum computer to run that shit. But they did what people wanted. People wanted fun. People wanted something to play. They wanted to play games. Oh, I just realized I forgot to free them on. Let me show you guys this if you haven't seen it before. Um, look at this. Free pal. Just from clearing the space, I get a free pal. Inventory is full. What is that? Oh, I don't need that. So yeah, you have all these people, um, and culturally, they're just going to stop caring. No one's going to want to buy Pokemon, no one's going to want to play Pokemon games, because uh, ultimately, you know, people care about a product. Oh. Uh, you got me. And that's good. You should care about a product. You know, you should care about the quality of the thing that you get the thing that you're buying you know um, there's really nothing wrong with that and you have these basically deranged Millennials that they're saying like no I have to worship these companies these companies are basically my dad like that's not true though company is not your dad you know the company's never gonna actually care about you uh, and even if they did you, you can't really trust that they'll care about you uh, in a sense that they'll support you that they'll care for you in a, in a financial way because um, they just care about at the very least they can care about the product they give you and when people don't have that when people don't have like like the Pokemon company people stop caring so yeah this is the opinion of some idiot that played Pokemon before and I guess is probably above average intelligence so you should care about me because uh, I posted it on the fucking internet and that's basically it guys so play Power World if you think it's gonna be fun don't if you don't like survival games but in general uh, Power World 
was always going to succeed because, you know, it had the memes, it, it had the culture, uh, it had the gameplay, you know, it was not just a scam, it was actually functional. Um, yeah. So I'm probably just going to keep grinding and see you guys later. Bye-bye.